Welcome to Electro Online, and now for the sixth example where we're trying to find the equation of a line given something about the line. In this case, and wow, I think I'm missing an E here, intercept. There we go. So we're given the y-intercept and the x-intercept in this case. So at least they give us one of the two unknowns in our equation. We need to find the slope and the y-intercept. They give us the y-intercept so we can go ahead and right away start by plugging that into the equation. So y is equal to mx plus, and in this case, instead of b, we can go ahead and plug in what b is equal to, in this case, 4. And all we have left to do now is to find the slope. Okay, so we have y equals mx plus 4. Now, in order to find the rest of the equation, we need to find the value for the slope. So we're going to do the same thing before. We're going to define the slope m as being the ratio of the rise over the run, which means it's going to be equal to the difference of the y value in the two points divided by the difference in the x values of the two points. So we have to identify the two points. So here, our first point is the point 0, 4, and there the second point is 3, 0. So those are the x and y coordinates of our two points. So now let's find this as our point 1. So this is x1, y1, and define this as x2, y2. And again, it doesn't matter what order you put that in. You can reverse the order and it doesn't make any difference. So now we're going to plug those values in and see what we get. So this is equal to y2 minus y1, y2 right here, y1 right here, so that will be 0 minus 4. Notice it makes it a lot easier when you label them with x1, y1, x2, y2, so we don't get lost. And then in the denominator, it's x2 minus x1, so it's 3 minus 0. So here we get minus 4 over 3, and that's the slope that needs to be plugged in right here. So we end up with y is equal to... And the slope we found to be minus 4 thirds times x plus 4. So now we can simply write y equals minus 4 thirds x plus 4 as the equation we were looking for if we're given both the x and the y-intercept. And that is how it's done.